This morning, a blockbuster shakeup in the world of artificial intelligence. Just days after, after he was ousted by the company he co-founded, former o OpenAI CEO Sam Altman is joining Microsoft. And so is another OpenAI co-founder, Greg Brockman. The two men who helped bring ChatGPT to the world will lead Microsoft's new advanced AI research team. So there's been a lot going on. That's why I got CNN's Vanessa Yurkevich. She's here with us now. Um, all right, Vanessa, uh, look, there were ongoing negotiations yeah. for Altman to return as OpenAI's CEO. Then he goes to Microsoft. W what, what's been happening here? I don't think ChatGPT could have written this drama. <laughs> this has been a lot in 72 hours. So yeah. the breaking news that we have now is that 500 employees from OpenAI have sent this letter to the board, which ousted Sam Altman, saying that if you do not resign, if you do not bring back Sam Altman, we will quit and we will join Sam Altman at Microsoft. 500, 500 employees, that's most of the company. Yeah. But this all goes down on Friday when OpenAI basically pushes Sam Altman out, the board saying that he's not equipped to lead the company right now. He hasn't been very transparent. Behind the scenes, though, what we know is that there's a phil philosophical difference between Altman wanting to push AI forward and the board who wants to kind of dial the progress of AI back. But what we know is that many employees have already followed Altman, including his co-founder, Greg Brockman. Over the weekend, we saw a photo of Altman at AI Open, OpenAI's offices, maybe talks of bringing him back again. That did not happen. That's where you enter Microsoft. They have invested $13 billion into OpenAI. They own 49% of the company. Just this morning, we're hearing that they have hired Altman to now run artificial intelligence at Microsoft. And just moments ago, we heard from one of the board members who was part of that four-person board that fired Altman. And he says he actually regrets the fact that he's created all this chaos at OpenAI. He's also one of the more than 500 people who has signed this open letter calling for the board to resign, which means including himself. This all matters because artificial intelligence is here. It is the future. There are serious conversations about whether or not it's moving too fast. Can it be weaponized? What does it mean for all of us? There are so many businesses that rely on chat GPT every single day. I just want to read a quick quote from an analyst, Dan Ives, who puts this perfectly, I think. He says, in a nutshell, the JV four-person board at OpenAI was at the kids' poker table, and they thought they won until Nadella and Microsoft took this all over in a World Series game of poker move for the ages with the Valley and Wall Street watching. This is going to continue to unfold over today, but just so much in 72 hours changing the game of AI. So much has happened, and I'm sure so much more will happen. Yes. Vanessa Yurkiewicz, thank you so much. Thanks. Anna Stewart joins me from London. And Anna, honestly, I mean, the fallout from the board <laughs> decision could not be more consequential. Some 500 of these 700 odd employees threatening to quit the company. Just explain what's going on here and why this weekend's um, moves were so significant. It is hard to keep up with what has been one of the most spectacular corporate fallouts I think I can remember really in terms of a board firing a CEO very suddenly, seeing the fallout from investors but also within the company. And this is just the latest. This is a letter to the board of directors of OpenAI. Uh, as you mentioned, over 500 employees have agreed to this. And when I say it's the letter to the board of directors, Becky, there were six uh, directors as of last week. One was fired, Sam Altman. The other co-founder, Greg Brockman, actually resigned on the basis of this news. And a third is actually signing this letter. So it's almost a letter to themselves at this stage, which means there are three directors that are being very much targeted by this letter. And I'll just highlight a few bits that we've had in the last hour. It says they believe the board is incapable of overseeing open AI. They say they may choose to resign and join Microsoft with Sam Altman and Greg Brockman, join that new entity. They've been assured they have positions. And these are their terms. They say they will take this step imminently unless all current board members resign. That's the three I mentioned. And the board appoints two new lead independent directors. Uh, they mention a couple and reinstate Sam Altman and Greg Brockman. So that is the most extraordinary laying down of the law from over 500 employees, the CTO and a board member on there as well. So now you have to wonder, is the Microsoft move going to happen? Are we going to see a complete rejig again at the top? And are we going to see Sam Altman, Greg Brockman going back to OpenAI? 
Just remind us who Sam Om is. For those who, you know, for those who aren't in the kind of, you know, in the weeds of AI, they, they may not know who he is. This guy is a very, very, very significant player, not just in business, but in US and global politics these days as well. He's become the biggest voice, really, when we talk about artificial intelligence. He's the loudest mm. voice, at least. There are just a handful of companies really uh, running the AI debate, I guess, in terms of a few companies that lead the way. There's Google DeepMind with Demis Hassabis and there's Sam Altman with OpenAI. And he is the biggest voice. He's one of the co-founders of the company. There are quite a few co-founders there. Um, but he's become very vocal and very eloquent, particularly, as you mentioned, at Senate committee hearings in the political level you see him on the international mm. stage and he's very vocal on twitter and one of the big questions for all of us right on friday was why has he been fired from the board and there's lots of speculation about this from the mm. company we actually didn't get very much there was something about a lack of communication with the board but no more detail other people wonder whether his popularity had eclipsed the board and therefore, frankly, they lost control of what Sam Altman wanted to do with the company, or whether his part in terms of trying to commercialize the profit part of OpenAI, because it is a non-profit entity generally, whether they felt that was undermining or risking AI safety. Mm. Where is he going? Well, he's signed up for Microsoft, but as of the last hour with this letter from over 500 employees demanding he goes back to OpenAI, you have to wonder, Becky. Check back mm. next hour. <laughs> Good stuff. Thanks, Alan.